This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Friday, 17th February 2023. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Coyote. Diverse reactions have trailed President Muhammadu Buhari's pronouncement approving the reintroduction of the 200 Naira note as legal tender in the country, but not same for the 500 and 1,000 Naira notes. The president, who made this known in a nationwide broadcast on Thursday, directed the CBN to make the new notes available to all citizens. The president apologized to Nigerians over the difficulty experienced in the implementation of the Naira redesign policy. Speaker House of Representatives, Fem Mibajabi Amila says the president's directive is a step in the right direction, but it falls short of the Supreme Court's order that the old currencies remain legal tender. For human rights lawyer Femi Falano, Mr. President's broadcast brought no hope to the people, proffering that government end the crisis it created by taking on firm solutions. Meanwhile, CBN Governor Godwin Emefiele says 15 bank executives have been directed to make the old 200 Naira notes available from Thursday. As the general elections draw near, British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Leng, says her country will continue to invest in creating a condition for a credible, free, fair and secure election. While urging politicians to respect the peace accord the earlier signed, she reiterated the British government's resolve to sanction any politician found culpable of inciting violence and undermining the electoral process across the country, even if they are British nationals. The British envoy expressed confidence in security agencies and INEC, especially with the implementation of the electoral law, but however expressed worries over the socio-economic crisis and violence caused by the scarcity of cash. Ling joined everyone to play their part in ensuring a peaceful, free and fair elections. The family of Bruce Willis has announced that he has frontotemporal dementia. They say in a social media statement that it is a relief to finally have a clear diagnosis. The 67-year-old was diagnosed with aphasia, which causes difficulties in speech in spring last year. But this has progressed and he has been given a more specific diagnosis. They expressed their deepest gratitude for the incredible outpourings of love. The family went on to say frontotemporal dementia as the most common form of dementia in people under 60. Willis became a household name in the 80s and 90s after starring in blockbuster films such as Die Hard, The Sixth Sense, Armageddon, and Pulp Fiction. He has also been nominated for five Golden Globes winning one and also three nominations for Emmys winning two. And that's it on Easter for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. It's another weekend, people. And of course, one of the most difficult times in Nigeria. Ensure you stay on the part of peace. Have a fantastic weekend.